Aloha, Dr. Glenn Swartout here at Healing Oasis in Hilo, Hawaii. And uh, we have a question about how we dose the Ness Infaceuticals. These are information medicine drops that have uh, numerical and frequency information imprinted into uh, mineral water using trace minerals as the carrier in the water to hold on to the information for long-term storage and, and medicinal use. Uh, so the standard uh, dosing that's recommended by Ness uh, is uh, quantum levels of drops that are one drop a day, three drops a day, uh, six, nine, 15, and 28 drops a day. So uh, <clears throat> That's a great uh, protocol to use if you're looking to feel the changes as you change dose. If you're wanting to get in more in touch with what's going on in your body and how it's responding to the, the remedies. Uh, <clears throat> so because we work with many people who are very sensitive, we uh, often use a different protocol that we've developed here at Healing Oasis. And that's that we start with one drop uh, either in water or for very sensitive people like we do with say an infant uh, start with one drop topically uh, Ness will suggest using a topical drop on on the wrist uh, because of the circulation uh, near the surface uh, we use a German approach of uh, starting with the drop on the navel area because that's going to also filter through the appendix and the liver before it gets to the systemic circulation so it's an even more gentle way to start. So we start with one drop in the navel, just rub it around. It's gonna be you know, wet still, it doesn't completely absorb. You can go ahead and get dressed. Usually the Ness Infraceuticals are used first thing in the morning. So uh, <clears throat> we build up one drop a day if there's no reaction. If you notice something, something's going on, your body's responding and it's tolerable, you can go ahead and stay at that level until that uh, symptom or reaction clears. If it's a stronger reaction, you can reduce the dose to a previous level or if necessary even discontinue the drops for up to a few days as long as it takes to, for your body to process and eliminate whatever the, the toxins are that are being released. Because these are working at a deep epigenetic level, they're going to release toxins like heavy metals that have an affinity for the genetic material that go deep in the cell. Uh, and so uh, those are being released and it takes time for the system to process that, especially if your kidneys, liver, other filtration systems and immune system may be compromised. Uh, so that's very individual and that's why we start with the, the low doses and have most of our clients increase by one drop a day versus the, the quantum levels, one, three, six, nine, fifteen, and twenty-eight drops that are recommended as the standard protocol by Ness. So you can feel free to uh, try out whichever dosing system uh, feels more appropriate to you. We encourage our, our clients to use their own intuition. This is, uh, we're training wheels for you and ultimately uh, your goal is to be self-navigating beings with your, your health and well-being. So I hope that uh, helps give more context to uh, how and why you can uh, dose the infaceuticals. Aloha. Just a little uh, addendum to that uh, download on infraceutical dosing. I forgot to mention that uh, as you build up the drops uh, topically, starting from one drop a day, you can go to increase a drop a day until you get to five drops. When five drops on the skin are tolerated, again, we use the navel, the navel attack, uh, then you can go ahead and switch to one drop in water. And when you put the drops in water, I'll also mention that we uh, recommend stirring it, but not with anything metallic, because the uh, infaceuticals are made with with high electrical fields and also ionizing uh, ultraviolet uh, quantum photons. It's uh, the energy could be uh, could be released out of that through the spoon. Uh, if you stir it with a spoon into your hand, but you want to get it actually into the full volume of water when you put it in the two to four ounces of, of water that you're going to drink it in and stir it 
with maybe a chopstick would be ideal, uh, wood or bamboo, you can use plastic, although we don't recommend it, uh, but anything that's not conductive, non-metallic, non will, will work. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, switch at, at five drops topically, then switch to one drop in water and continue building up according to your tolerance that way.